Tonight, a be kind story, and in so many ways, it goes to the heart of what it means for New Yorkers to be involved and responsible members of a sanctuary city. The focus, bicycles, used bikes, donated by residents, then fixed up and then offered for low or no cost to people who need them to go to work, to get around, including migrants here to seek asylum. Here's Iowa News reporter Stefan Kim. Sometimes a bicycle can be for fun. Okay. But sometimes a bicycle is a necessity to move you forward when life sets you back to help steer you around challenges and obstacles. We take bikes um, that are old and used and refurbish them and provide them at low cost to folks around the neighborhood. Um, the idea is to divert bikes from the waste stream, give things more life than they may have had. And now at Recycle a Bicycle in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn, some of their bicycles will go to some of the neediest in this city for free. That's because the city has partnered with the TD5 Borough Bike Tour to launch a citywide initiative for asylum seekers. Donated bikes repaired here, along with helmets and locks, will go to migrants. In Midtown tonight, a celebration to announce the launch of the program. We firmly believe in the power of cycling, the transformative power of cycling, and we know that these bikes are going to help um, these asylum seekers acclimate and rebuild their lives in this great city. This is another gesture that New Yorkers uh, can show that there's hope for them. It's really rewarding, um, especially, you know, it's, it's just an enhancement of what we do here every day in terms of providing low-cost bikes for folks all over the city, but to be able to really help this vulnerable population yeah. is really meaningful. There has been a noticeable increase in people willing to donate their bicycles specifically as a result of this program. Folks who want to make sure their old bikes go to migrants. There are five locations across the city accepting donations, including Recycle a Bicycle. In Brooklyn, Safan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.